This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. So this game is a lot of fun and uh, I thought I would share it with you. So we're just going to start a new game and for our culture, we're going to pick this one because caravans are apparently OP when you get to like mid to late game and 10% uh, less trade penalty. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're going to go with because the rest of these are trash. Like they really need to work on these because unless you plan to spend all your time in the snow, this is useless. This one just nah, these are just this. No, ju they're just just pick this one. If you play this game, just pick this one. All right. So now we have to create our person here. And uh, we got to make him as pale as we can possibly make him height. He's going to be massive. This is going to be a brick house of a man. Okay. And then we're going to go over to face and you know, let's, let's just, well that, no, I just want to randomize this set here. No, no, no. Um, you know, Oh, his nose. That is a nose. Okay. Let's, uh, let's correct that. He needs a nose job. Okay. I think that works. He's, uh, he's a big dude. Let's pick his hair. And we need like some serious hair here, some good hair. Let's make it this color so we can actually like see it against the black background there. No, that's terrible. That's more terrible. That's a woman's hairstyle. I don't even know what's going on with that. No, that's not good either. Do we have any like good Viking hair or something? I mean, maybe-ish. Okay, yeah, I guess we can work with that. Let's do that. We're going to make it black. We need some good facial hair here. No, definitely not. Nope, not that either. No. Um, no for sure not that one. Uh, needs a little bit more. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. A little scruffier. Yeah, let's get a little bit more bearded. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks legit. Okay, so that's going to be... That's going to be our dude here. Okay, on to the next. Now for this setup, what we're going to do is I want to fight stuff like crazy. Um, I've tried a couple of different styles of like playing through this. I've tried the trading thing and that's okay. But a real good way that I found to make money is tactics is super strong because uh, it does most of the work for you and you don't really have to do anything in the battle. So I want to attempt to max out tactics and blacksmithing so that I can just smelt the weapons that I get from killing people and make money that way. Okay, and uh, now we need our name. Okay, we got a name fitting of our dude here. We're going to go on to the next. Now for this, I'm just going to put all this on realistic. I don't know why it defaults to like very easy. I don't know, but I feel like playing on normal. Do we have like an actual normal? Yeah, I guess realistic is normal. There is no hard. It's like either very easy, easy or realistic. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. We're going to put it all on realistic. Uh, we're not going to enable death because that's just not fun. And uh, auto allocate clan member perks. No, no, we're going to leave all that unchecked and start game. Okay, so we're going to leave this area. Yep, I know. Okay, select our family name. There's our family name. Beautiful. Now we got to select our flag. Our flag needs to be, it needs to strike fear in the heart of all men. So we got our background color. Why can't the sigil color be... Okay, we're going to do this, and then uh, sigil color, that doesn't look scary at all. Red and blue, no. What? What is with these friendly looking tones of color? Black, if that doesn't scare the crap out of your enemy, I don't know what will. And uh, giant bear? Nah, giant bear doesn't very, isn't very scary. I guess that's supposed to be a crow? Black flag with a pink crow. That is terrifying. Seems legit. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to head to towns and snatch up as many troops as we can. Don't even worry about this money here. We just need troops. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this first town here. We're going to go recruit troops. Give me both of those guys. 
Perfect. Okay, we're gonna leave there. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna do the same thing to this one. Actually, I should have went up here, there, and there, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. We have a little bit of food. We're okay uh, for now. We'll get some more food here in a minute. Um, let's just get this off here because I don't like it when they're all like that. I know we have a point to spend. We'll do it in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go recruit troops and give me each of those fellas. And he's got a quest, but I don't care right now. And we're going to go up here. Okay, here we go. We are here. Let's uh, recruit some more troops. Bam, 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 and bam. Okay, we're at 9 to 21. That's not a bad start. Let's check their for sale stuff. Now, to, to level up our whatever it is, that one skill I was telling you, I would show you how to level. Just pick a variety of food. Grain is cheap, yes, but don't only feed your people grain. It's going to make them not as happy the the happier they are here the more points you gain in that skill so if we go over here to the skill let's back out let's go here so Stuart, that's the word i'm looking for just if you just keep the morale um gain party morale for food variety that's super easy to do and the other thing you can do is make sure that you're the quartermaster of your your setup here. So you want to go over here to clan and you want to click this, make sure you're the quartermaster, click done. And now we're going to go back in here and we're going to buy products. We could probably find some stuff cheaper, but I'm just going to start with like two there and we'll grab one cheese. Okay. That's 85 gold. That's not the end of the world. And we did buy all the troops here, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So now we want to come over to here and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, here we are. Let's recruit some troops. Oh, we don't have any troops to recruit. Well, that's lame. What if I wanted to recruit your troops? Okay, let's check the trade. Let's see what they got food wise. So we pop on over here. We grab this and uh, fish is pretty cheap. We'll grab two fish. We'll grab just a little bit more grain. I always keep grain as my base, and then I just add in a couple other little random things to, to mix it up a little bit there. And uh, that's going to be 74, so that'll be fine there. Okay, and then leave. Now, the other thing you can do to up your morale is win fights. So if we just kind of look for some bandits around here. Here we go. Here's three bandits right here. Now, we might have to chase them for a couple days. Let's take a look at our speed situation here. We're at 5.2, so we're nice and fast right now. So we should be able to eventually catch these guys at 3.5. Yeah, we're slightly faster than them. You're not going to make it? Okay, we got him. Beautiful. Now we want to continue to up our tactics, and in order to do that, we just send in the troops. Yeah, we're going to... We should just destroy these guys, so fight me if you dare. Yep. Let's see how this goes. And uh, send in the troops. Okay, so somehow all of those guys managed to kill our nine people, which I don't even know how that worked out when it was in our advantage to win. That's fine. We're going to go in for an attack here. We're going to kill this last dude. We're going to get all the goodies. We're going to use that to get our stuff back. Let's swap to the javelin. And uh, I don't need the tutorial. Yeah, here we go. So we should just be able to javelin this guy. There we go. Okay, so we won that fight, but we got a lot of uh, bandits around here, these mountain bandits, and I think that we should probably avoid that area for now, especially since we're only one person. Hopefully we can uh, escape any mountain bandits, so let's just run back over this way. Maybe we should uh, just stick for looters. Ooh, that was close. That dude was coming at us. All right, we're going to wait here for some time. Wait till we heal up a little bit here. All right, stop waiting. Let's check our situation here. So our speed is now lower because we have wounded members and uh, we have a prisoner. Let's check on that prisoner and see. Eventually this dude will break and we'll add him to our ranks here. Okay, I waited here. We got some bandits here. I'm going to see if I can outrun them. Our speed's back up a little bit. It's not where it was when we first started, but it is back up. I bought two more troops, so we should be all right. So we're just going to leave this area and we're going to head over this way and uh, we're going to check out this town over here, see if we can grab a few more troops up there and maybe then find some looters. I think looters will probably be our best option for stuff to fight right now. Okay, we just ran into it's. Well, this is this is going to be a close one. It's four to seven. Uh, we're gonna we might have to get down on the field for this one. 
Okay, I think our best bet is to maybe leave our guys here. We're going to run up here and I'm going to see if I can kite them and hit a few of them with the javelins to weaken them. Okay, easy, easy. Oh, that was a swing and a miss. Let's try again. Okay, we got that guy there. That's good. Nope, easy, easy. Turn around. Okay, we javelin another one. Oh, we're taking a bit of a beating here. Nope, stop it. I'm trying to hit you with this freaking javelin. Oh, that was a swing and a miss. All right, let's swap to the spear. This is good. This is going to be rough. We got 2v2 down there at the bottom. So if we can keep these guys entertained here. Come on, team. Come on, team. We got this. We can defeat these looters. Why can't the spear suck so bad? Like, it should have massive range, but it doesn't. Do we have any... Okay, we got... No, we got a mace. We got a mace and a spear. Like, I should be able to just reach them, but no. Okay, we, we got that guy that time. That was good. Stop throwing freaking rocks at me. Really? Like, it's super annoying. Oh, oh, okay, we got one, we got one. Let's kite him back down here to our team. Let's tell our team to charge. Attack! Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to creep up on him here. Come on, come on, you got that guy. Nice, and we pulled it off. We lost a couple of people, but we managed to win. Okay, whew, we're, we're off to a really tough start here. Apparently our capacity is exceeded, so we're super slow. We should buy some horses while we're out. Let's uh, let's do that as well. Hopefully we can find a few cheap horses to help our carry weight a little bit. Okay, we're going to stop waiting. We're going to head back down here and see if we can grab a few cheap horses. we got to be very careful that we don't run into anybody. Easy does it. Nice and easy. All right, we made it just fine. Let's recruit. Uh, oh, we can recruit more troops from here, so that's good. Let's definitely do that. Let's go to buy products. We don't have enough riding to ride that horse, but we could still buy that horse for 77. And I think that should, yeah, that still ups our, our weight. Because if you look at our weight now, oh, it doesn't up it that much. Maybe we should buy a mule instead. That puts it at 250. If we buy this guy, yeah, let's just buy a mule for now. He's a little more expensive, but it'll be all right. Okay, so leave. Let's see if we got more troops over here now. Since that one refilled, we already hit that one. We might have some more troops here. Recruit troops. We got one guy. Nice. Okay, we're going to leave. We're going to go over to this one. Oh, they're they're clear full of troops here. That's good. All right, let's buy all of those. Okay, so now we're up to 11. Now we can find a few looters. Let's look at our speed. Our speed's pretty slow. It's nighttime. We have prisoners. Oh, one of our prisoners might be ready to convert. Actually, both of them are. That's fantastic. Okay, so now we're looking, we're looking great. We can actually have 22 people now, which is fantastic. Okay, so see how that, how quickly that goes up? If we go over here and we, we look at my character, you can see it's just going up nice and quick. As long as we just keep food like that, just the variety of food, it'll continue to go up. We got to find some fights to get into. Let's go over here to this large city over here so that we can uh, use their blacksmith if we want to. Oh, here we go. Here's some looters. Come here, looters. Oh, look at them run. Yeah, get, get back here. My speed is five. You can't run from me. I'm going to catch you. You're going to die, you looter scum. Come back here, looter scum. Wait, what is their speed? 4.9? They're just... Oh, we're going to get them. I'm going to chase them to the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them, get them, get them. We're going to get them trapped here. Oh, yeah. They're going to get themselves trapped. Come on, come on. Almost, almost. You got them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, looter scum. You're going to die, brigand. Okay, we're going to send in the troops. Come on, troops. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's a victory and some morale. Okay, grab both of those prisoners there. Click done. Grab all of that loot. Click done. Okay, so now we got some dudes that need to heal. So we got a few wounded here. We're going to go to this town and uh, we're going to smell a bunch of stuff and sell a bunch of stuff and make a bunch of money. I feel safe to travel a little bit now. Can we just, can we run into these guys here? Are they going to run from us? 
Yeah, they're gonna run from us. Okay, so now we need to find somebody that's got some hardwood. All the way over there has hardwood. All right, well, let's make the journey. Well, while we're doing that, our dude, oh no, this is going to be bad. This is gonna be bad. Fight me if you dare. Yep, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go in on this. If I send the troops, our chances of winning are slim. Oh wait, oh, we can't level them up. All right, we're gonna have to attack. We're gonna have to go in the hard way. I didn't expect to run into anybody that big that quickly here. So we're gonna get the javelins. We're gonna try to weaken a few here. We can kite them around and just feed them into our army relatively slow. Really? Oh, Jesus! The stones! Stop throwing rocks! How are they gonna do so much damage with simple rocks? Oh, that was a swing and a miss. I'm a terrible javelin thrower. Nope, missed him there. Okay, well, let's just keep them entertained and, uh... Tell our party to charge. They can fight the dudes that are down there. Hopefully they can overwhelm them. Yeah, I've missed with every single javelin. Okay, did they do it? They did it. Okay, so let's get the last ones in here then. Stop hitting me. Jesus, dude. Yeah, get them. Get them, guys. Get off the horse. I'm gonna try to get in here and get behind them. Oh, they got him. They did it. We won it. Whew, that was close. That was a that was a battle I did not think we were gonna win. Okay, so I made us a good bit of money here just trading and or buying and smelting the bastard sword. So if we go to trade, you can see they have a bunch of bastard swords here. And I just bought those, a couple of those, and smelted them down and uh, got our money back up. So now we got a good bit of money, which is nice. We can cancel out that. And also, our current total of troops is also going up. We're now up to 23, which is fantastic. Let's let that guy go. We're going to go over here to the tavern district district and sell these guys. So I don't want any prisoners. They slow us down. Uh, it's nice to have them to reinforce your troops, but at the same time, they slow you down. And as you see here, we can't really level them up. So they're not that great. Okay. So we're going to go back to town center. We're going to go to recruit troops. We're going to grab the guys here. That puts us over the limit, but that's fine. Here's what we're going to do. Yes, that's fine. So we're going to go over here and we're actually going to get rid of the looters here because we can't level them up. So we're just going to Get rid of those until we're back down to 23. So by getting rid of two of those, we're now back to 23. And we have some guys that we can actually level up. So that's good. That's what we want. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to make money. What we're going to do is we're going to save before we do it though, because we don't have very upgraded guys and it's best to do this when your guys are upgraded just because of the way it works out. It only gives you so many people. So we're just going to save real quick. Okay. So what you do is you come in here and you go walk or, or take a walk around. Now there's a trick to this. There's been a bunch of bug fixes and I don't know if this has been fixed or not. I haven't been keeping up on it because they patch this game like I've never seen before. Um, I'm terrible at fighting in this game, so I'll show you. We'll attempt to see if the bug works. You talk to them, you go, uh, do you mind? And then uh, you go, I don't take orders. This is going to initiate a fight. Then you run away. Everybody cowers. You know you're far enough away when you put your weapon away. Okay, we put our weapon away. We're far enough away. Now if we run back, if the bug works, we talk to him again. This time he won't move. Let's see if it works. So do you mind? I don't take orders. Continue. Okay, he's going to run back to his spot. Now see, they're ready to fight. You can actually fight them and they don't run at you, which makes fighting a whole lot easier because you can get them to swing and then you can run up and hit them. And it's super cheesy. I know, but it's an easy way if you're not good at fighting multiple people in this game to be able to fight them like this. If you have a sword, you can actually outrange them or a spear and poke them. But I don't know if you can bring a spear in here or not, but I know you can bring a sword that outranges their attacks. But this also works. You just wait till they swing and then you go in and you hit them. 
Like, so my dude is a mountain of a man. Look, look at how big he is compared to, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's focus on hitting them. Okay, good. You don't want to get hit because if you get hit by the time this is all done, you're not going to be back full health when you got to go into like an actual fight, the fight that we're going to lose. But, uh, so that's how you do that. Then you say, wait. So now you wait. Then this happens and it kicks to another screen and you talk to this lady and you tell her who you are, whoever you go up to talk to here. And you basically tell them you don't give a crap. You're going to fight them. This is your territory now. And then you go into attack. But see, the thing is, is it says we have 23 it says they have nine, but it's not going to give us 23 people when we go into the fight. The most I've gotten is six plus me. So we go into a, to the fight here. We'll see what happens. I got a low, lo lot of low level people and I was told on the forums that it balances things out. So we got a bunch more people than we normally have, but at the same time, like we're probably going to lose this fight. So we're just going to hang out here for a second. We're going to say charge. Now what I like to do is wait till they get into the fight and then you come in here and you get behind them and you just start clubbing them. Did we do it? Oh, we won. I can't believe we actually won that. I thought for sure we were going to lose that fight. We ended up with a bunch of people. I guess it does auto balance. And since we got a bunch of low level people, but the thing with this game is, is like that doesn't always work out to your favor. Even though your people are higher level, if they get swarmed and they're taking a beating from multiple guys, then you end up losing, which is just trash. It should just allow you to bring all of your people. Anyway, I'll stop ranting. We won. That's great. That's fantastic. That's what we want. We got morale, morale bonus and uh, uh, renown bonus. And on top of that, we're going to get a bunch of loot from this. So here's all of our loot. This stuff's going to smelt really well. Uh, we also got some steel, which look what that sells for. Sells for a fortune. Some other, other goodies there. So we click done. Click continue. Fantastic. So let's go to trade now. And we're going to click on this here and we're going to sell this. Look at that. We just made a crap load of money. So we can also go into our inventory and see if any of this is better than what we currently got. Okay. And I did some more smelting and some more trading and now we are up to 4,143. So we're looking pretty good in the gold front. And I think with that, we are going to wrap up this episode. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Lee Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. And let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.